it's been quite a while since I have filmed the video, but this is because I haven't really been anywhere or done anything interesting, so, you know. Um, so today I went shopping with my husband. Where's my phone cable? It was Where's my phone laptop. cable? It's here. Mr. Grumpy Pants. <laughs> Please do excuse Penis. the bearded man who Penis. shouts obscenities. Penis. Boobs. I really hope you're shouting peanuts. Boobs. He's he's a child. A big child. One of my favourites. Poundland. Okay. What did we buy in Poundland? I bought a big bottle of nail polish remover with acetone. Um, I bought this. It's cocoa butter lotion and it apparently absorbs really fast. You can use it anywhere on your body. Moisturiser. I'm obsessed with moisturising and stuff so I thought I'd give this a shout. It's been marked by Creatins. It's photo finish moisturiser for camera ready skin that is kissably soft. Well I don't have that right now because I got like Tons of spots. Um, well, I'm not sure about this, really, to be honest. It says you apply a tiny bit to your fingertips and massage, it, massage in evenly to the face and neck. We'll see if it works. Right, anyway, I like to give myself a good wipe down and stuff, so these only lasted about two weeks. Um, so, I got these in the tape. They were, they're the deep cleanse one. Mm, whatever that all means. But it's supposed to really give you a good clean, so they'll come in handy. Polish, right? Now, I looked and normally I come away with about 10 bottles of nail polish, but there was only actually one that I liked the look of, just in case it's separated, I'll give it a shake. It's by Sally Hansen, and it is, I think it's Cherise Noir. Derma V10. It's also the same brand as the cocoa butter lotion that I got and it's the intensive hand and nail cream. We all know I'm obsessed with hand moisturizers so I thought I'd give that one a, a go. I then got Blistex lip balm. I know for a fact that Blistex is really good and at the moment I really needed lip balm so why not? You know. This. It's conditioner and it says it's Oz Botanics. It's major moisturiser conditioner um, with the extract of Tasmanian blue gum, whatever that is. Um, it says that it's been specially formulated to provide intense conditioning. Blah, 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 blah. It's for all hair types. Um, you only leave it in for three to five minutes, which is a good thing because the argan oil that I currently use, you've got to leave it in for like 10 to 20 which kind of sucks. Um, obviously you don't put it in your eyes. I think I'm going to review that one on my blog as well because I need to find a new conditioner because this is just outrageous. Can you guess what it was? The body show! Right, okay, so I got lots of goodies out of here and some of them I've already opened and used in the middle of the street like a total animal and I really don't care, right? So the first thing I picked up was mango soap. He's a soap fiend. Anyway, mango soap. Can't wait to use that. I then picked up, let's get rid of the bag, um, this. It's, it's Born Lippy and it's Plum Lip Balm and it, it, I tried it. I'm sorry, I did. I tried it. Look at this thing. It's lovely. It's absolutely adorable on lip balms on it. Um, I like how it's an easy slide. It's not one of them ones that you have to actually put force in to get the stupid thing out the tube. Um, it smells amazing. Doesn't taste of anything. But that's alright. But it smells amazing. It smells like plums. Which comes in handy since it's supposed to, you know. Anyway, the next thing I picked up was... Strawberry Hand Cleansing Gel. And it's just like, you know, you go in a dirty toilet. You wash your hands afterwards. No point because the handle's filthy, so hand gel from a handbag. 
I then picked up, right, I was looking at getting a new moisturiser, which I was looking at this one because I've tried their almond one and I've tried their pink rose one. The pink rose one I loved in the shop, but then as I started using it at home, it actually stunk. It's horrible. Anyway, but that's just a personal preference, you know. Um, but the almond one, I've went through, I'm nearly at the end of my second or third tube of that. Oops. Um, so I was going to pick up the hemp one because I tried that in store on my birthday last month. Um, and I really liked it, but at the same time I didn't want to buy more than two. So I, I went with the, the rose and the almond. And so today I specifically went back in for this. But I didn't want to pay. At, at the time when I bought the two, they were only a five or each. That offer's not on anymore. So there were a tenner per one of these and I was like, I'm not paying a tenner for that. But they have ones that's half the size, four or five or, and I thought, no, I'll try it and see if I like it. And if not, you know. Henry, do you mind? Pain. Anyway, so then I picked up this little contraption, right? And it's hemp, it's the hemp hand oil. Um, and I had a great idea that you can actually, you know, it's got this little dropper bit on the top and you can use that for cuticle oil. So I'm going to try that with a mixture of the hemp and see if it works. So that's why I picked up the little one. But then when I got to the till, the woman was like, well, you, there's no point in that because for an extra four pound, you can actually get the pack, which gets you... Not only oh, oh, it nearly dropped. Not only does it get you the the larger hand cream, but it also gets you moisturising hand wash in hemp as well. So I thought, why not? You know, bash on for an extra four pounds, you're actually getting like ten pound worth of stuff. So I thought it was a really good idea. I did. I have used the hemp one, and it's that was about two hours ago. And my hands are now starting to feel dry, but that's because I've been like on a bus and stuff and touching stuff. So, you know, it lasts quite a while. I did use the hand oil, but I'm going to use this as a, a cuticle oil instead, just on my cuticles. And then I am going to do it as like an intensive course, like the Bliss Kiss trial, you know, the, the three day thing. Um, I'm going to do this like that and see how that works see what conditions the nails are in after that. Then, I went to B&M. No, no, I lie. I lie. I went to Paul and Barrett first. I have been reading up. My nails have been snapping quite a lot and just today I've actually cracked this one. I've got to go downstairs and fix it afterwards. Um, but my hands, my nails have been cracking quite a bit. Um, more than usual, I would say. So I, th I was looking online at ways you can like strengthen your nails and stuff like that. And other than using my nail strengthener that you actually apply to the nail like a nail polish, I realised that you can get things called like things like biotin and stuff like that, which are supplements that you take orally um, to help your hair and nails. And my hair, well, it could use all the help it could get. Let's put it that way. Um, so I went into Holland and Barrett hoping to find some biotin, but I couldn't find any. Sucks. But I did find wherever this is. It's for skin, hair and nails, which my skin, again, could use all the help it could get. Um, and you take three a day with meals. So I took one with my lunch and I'm going to be taking one with my tea as well. And then I'll, um, I'll start from tomorrow because obviously I don't want to have an extra meal just to compensate this. Um, but because they were having the buy one, get one free option, I decided to get something to help me lose weight because that is a big thing for me. Um, and... I've put on a lot of weight recently, it's after my daughter was born, which is actually quite strange. I lost weight when I was pregnant and then the minute that she was born it was like, Pfft. anyway. <laughs> um, and I've been hearing, I, I've heard lots of things about lots of different products. Now the first one that I thought about was African mango supplements and that's because a friend of mine used them for quite a while and she lost quite a bit of weight on them and they, they really did go, do her good. Um, but then when I got to that area, I couldn't see them anywhere. And I was like, oh, they must be out of stock because I knew that there was a really high demand when my friend was using them. Um, but then I saw raspberry ketones. Now, I have 
heard a lot of raving reviews about, uh, uh, reviews about this online. People are going mad for this, apparently. Um, so we'll see. But then after I picked this up, I actually saw the African Mango and I, I asked the, the woman in store and she'd said that if she was to recommend one over the other, it would definitely be the Raspberry Ketones. And so I'm going to give them a go. I've got this, which you have to take one tablet every day with a meal. So I'm going to... I started today, I took it at lunchtime. And I am going to continue this. It's got 90 tablets, so that is just shy of three months. I am going to possibly... Well, I do a Sunday Slather post on my blog anyway, where it's just, you know, personal things where I will be talking to you about my life and how things are going and blah, 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 slather. Um, so this will probably be included in that. And then... You never know, it might end up in my favourites post, which will be starting at the end of July. Okay, so that's what I got from Holner Barrett. But that was actually a present from my husband. Love him! Anyway, um, next place I went was B&M. First, right, I'm, I don't even know what I picked up first, so I'm just going to show you what I got instead of, I got it in this order. Anyway. I, if you know me, like really know me, I'm a stationary hoarder. I bought three of these, three big notepads. Simply because I'm running out. I love notepads and they were only a pound. So, you know, plus I am doing book reviews now for my blog, one a month. So these are going to come in handy for all the little notes and things and character references and, and quotes and things that I want to keep note of and I'll be able to just, you know, jot them down. I've got a bit, you know those. Right. I also got, I love this stuff, Options, the Belgian chocolate, hot chocolate. Love it. Love it. I've been having sleep problems just recently and I did think about getting the sleep supplements and stuff from Holden Barrett, but then I thought, um, I don't really want to. So, you know. So I got, I got this because I thought, you know, it does help a little bit to have a nice hot chocolate and a little relaxing read before bed. And so, favourite hot chocolate. Why not? I also picked up, like I said about my horrible skin, um, it's T-Zone. It's Blackhead's Clearing Scrub. I could have sworn that I picked up another one, but clearly not. Anyway, um, it's just, it's one of those Blackhead scrub things as you do you know we'll just have to wait and see I then picked up I bought the last time I was in B&M was ages ago and I picked up a bottle of polish from BC it's body collection right and I've never heard of this brand before I went to B&M ever and it's um 24 karat gold I think it was called yeah but I still have that downstairs my dog's like attacking my bed. My cat's under my bed and he's just being a fool. Anyway, um, so I thought when I went in, I did see Beast, the 24 karat gold one, but I've still got loads of it in the bottle, so I thought, you know, no point in buying another one. Um, but I did see the silver, which is called Diamond, and I also saw Opal, which is like a, like a French manicure kind of over-the-top polish. So I got those. I then got these. I'm going to be reviewing these on my blog. There was two different br Oh, they're the same brand. Hold on, what's the difference? Um, yeah, I'm not seeing the difference. It must just be one's newer than the other. Or one, one's definitely... No, they're the same size. Oh well, these. Right, there's the... Body and Face Cooling Mist from Beauty Formulas and then there is the Instant Cooling Mist Gentle to Skin. So maybe this is like the sensitive version. I have to Google that. Yep, same application. Anyway, I'm going to be trying these. It's for, not just for me, but for in hot weather, if I'm taking my daughter out and stuff, I, I like to keep her cool and stuff. So these could come in handy. I then picked up, I saw, uh, it was on YouTube, who was it? 
I think it was Graveyard Girl. I think. I'm sure. Anyway, baby lips. Lip balm. As you do, Maybelline. And it's SPF 20. And I thought, you know, I, I saw that her review wasn't exactly glowing because she was expecting them to be like a, a lipstick balm mixed together. I can't get it out of the sh silly tube. Right, anyway. Um, and I got the Cherry Velvet. So, she thought it was going to be like a lipstick as well as a balm, but it's not. It's just lip balm. Doesn't taste venom. Smells like cherries, vaguely. But, like I said, I need a little lip balm. I then bought... <laughs> one of my favourite purchases of the day. I love this stuff. It's Sally Hansen's, it's the Extreme Wear Hardest Nails. I got the colours Ruby Stilettos and Twisted Pink. Which, again, I will probably be reviewing on my blog at some point. If I have time, because my blog is going crazy right now. Um, I then also bought Won't These Need a Shake. That's the only thing with shops like this. You do get good brands for cheap prices. However, half the time, you need to give them a good shake because the colour pigment actually separates when your bottle sits there too long which tells me these have probably been sitting for quite a long time because as you can see that ain't the colour of the polish it's just, oh man, so many levels I can see me sitting shaking this for about 10 years but it will work, I swear it will work nice brush though meh I'll fix it later. Right, okay, so I got the Diamond Strength No Chip Nail Colour. Hmm, <laughs> no chip. We'll see. Um, I got 3 carat or more, or 3k or more is what it says, which is a lovely beige-ish colour and it's got like tiny little silvery goldy speckles. And then I got the Fuchsia Bling Bling. Bling Bling! So we'll see. We'll see how they go. I also got this. It's a, a woven square basket. Let's just get that off. It's just a purple basket. Now, I got this because I'm going to be putting all the things that I'm going to review for my blog into the basket. Yeah. So then I'll, I'll be able to keep this on my desk and I will be able to, you know leave everything in there and then take them out and once they're out of the basket for review they'll be completely out and they won't be put back in there which I will find very easy I then got home from right, I'll just stick that over there with the rest of the goodies I then got back into my hometown and I went to the shop because I, I was parched after all that hard work I didn't lift a finger Kevin carried all the bags it was brilliant um, and I got Tropicana. If I am gonna, if you're gonna find me drinking fruit juice, you're probably gonna find me drinking this. Love it. Can't love it enough. And I am one of those crazy people that likes my orange juice with the bits. Just for future reference. I also then saw this thing. It was, it was lonely. It shouted to buy me. It's pink lemonade, and I've never tried it before in my life. So, um, let's see about that as well. If you have tried pink lemonade, leave a comment, let me know. I then also, just as we were walking home, I realised I need acetone. I ran out. Ran out of acetone. I've been using nail polish remover to clean up my manicures. Anyway, so, two bottles of acetone. I then saw this little contraption. It's Dormisan Sleep Drops that you put in like a, a big glass of juice before you go to bed and you drink it half an hour before you go to bed it can also help with anxiety which the reason I'm lying awake at night is because I get anxious and I, don't ask what I'm anxious about because I really couldn't even tell you um, it's, it's that kind of anxiety that I'll just, I'll just be lying in my bed casually going to sleep doing my thing and then it's like oh my god I'm going to be sick like I'm not actually physically going to be sick but I feel queasy and then I get shaky and I start looking around like 
can't even, oh, it just it get, it makes the hairs on my neck stand up. It's horrible. Anyway, so I thought I would give this a shot and possibly review that on my blog as well for other people who are anxious, etc. I did see this in Holland and Barrett and this is the kind of thing I was going to look for, like this or possibly capsules to try and ease me into sleep and stuff like that. However, in my chemist it was a heck of a lot cheaper than in Holland and Barrett. Just saying. Um, I then also picked up, I know I, I really, I like them, right? I don't care what people say. I like them. Glass nail files. I got a pink one and I got a purple one. Can't get enough. I know people are like, well, crystal's brilliant and I've never had a crystal nail file. No, never. But I have had a glass one and they're alright. You know, I like to have them. Just to like, because then I can just, you know, be all casually doing it. I don't have to grind away at my nails. I like that. Plus I can use them on my natural nails. So yeah, that's all I bought. <laughs> all I bought. <laughs> that's too much. I bought loads. Okay, so yeah, um, if there's anything in particular you would like to see a review of on YouTube, do let me know. I will probably be writing a post about this haul um, and posting it in the next few days, I suppose. And then I will be taking photographs of everything and I will be probably embedding this video into my YouTube. And I'm not even sure how long I've been sitting here blethering now. So I'm just going to go. I just, I speak too much. Plus, there will be another elf haul coming your way very shortly. It should be delivered in the next couple of days. It was a 50% off sale. Don't look at me like that. I'm, I'm so hyper. I need to stop this shit. Oh, I said a bad word. Anyway, um, I really hope you liked this video. And if you did, please do give me the thumbs up. Give me a comment. Let me know what you thought. You know, yada, yada, yada. Press the subscribe button, which should be about here. Or is it the other side? Is it here? Who knows? I don't even know because I'm looking in a mirror to see what I'm doing with the camera. Right. I'm just going to go now.